All right, you're live with Moby. We're going to start doing this, this segment called Five Questions with Moby. First interview out of the gate is Hammerin' Hank Parks. You may see him shooting down the road in parts of South Carolina and other southern areas. So yes, what's going sir. on, Hank? Oh, no, much, buddy. It's showing no brass, no flash, just giving it all mass. That's all I can do every day, every day, every week. Exactly, man. Bringing the energy. I like it. Yes, sir. So, uh... This I've got set, I've got five questions for you. One's more of just a statement for you to make. Um, so tell us, the audience, who you are and what you do. All right. I'm Hank Parks. I'm Hammered Hank. What I do is I bring energy to to my all parts of my life. Okay. I go to work. I go to work for a purpose. I go to gym. I go to gym for a purpose. I go to the driving range to smash balls for a purpose. I feel like life's too short be dull so what i do is i bring 100 percent to everything i do so no matter where it is where it's at if you got hank you've heard it before but you, you can get 100 percent hank so what i do is I, I bring the energy and uh that's all that's what i love to do so anywhere anytime doesn't no matter who you are where you are how much money you make who sponsors you <laughs> you're gonna get in trouble so uh I'm willing to bring it all the time, anytime, anywhere it is. Awesome, man. Good good stuff. So let's go with the five questions now, Hank. I won't keep you on the phone forever. I just wanted to bother you. So uh, first question is, how long have you been involved in okay. All right. So technically, I've only been involved in Long Drive for right at 19 months. <laughs> I started a little over two years ago but with no clue of what I was doing. I uh, I just saw a YouTube video from, I think it was 2018, and I remembered it growing up. I watched it, and I remember Jason Zubak, kind of a big dude, swinging a golf club fast, and I thought to myself, I said, you know what, I could do this. So I kind of got a little start with there, but I had no idea what all got involved with long drive. I've never played golf. I was always a home run hitter. I could smash baseballs even to this day. I, uh, that's all I knew. I knew the power part of it. So a little less than two years, I and not been competing. So uh, just give it that. Awesome. Love that, man. Also, big Gamecock there. Go Cox. Big Gamecock. Gamecock alumni. I've been to three World Series in my whole life. Uh, actually, my freshman year in junior college up in Spartanburg, Methodist. I went to the uh, World Series there, and I went to two World Series in 2003 and 2004. I, uh, I'm the greatest junior college home run hitter in the history, in the state's history of South Carolina. So there you nice. go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Next question. Hey, what is your longest ball in competition? Not, not on a range or something, but verified long ball. Believe it. When we actually went, uh, I think it was a traveler's rest as one day at the Actually, I hit actually a ball that day, 391, on, right. on your rep. But outdoors, I think the furthest I've ever been over at Parti, I think it was 371 okay. outdoors on there. But I, I've been in Myrtle Beach. I've actually, I'm sorry, in Myrtle Beach at the XLD event, I went 386 twice. Right. So it is, I'm, I'm knocking on the door. So I'll be on that 400 range in no time. Now, of course, I've hit it in practice. But I don't count that practice. But that's not – now, I've actually been on a golf course swinging a white reaper with the Tokyo Drift Head. Degrees and measured, truly measured on a golf course at 406 yards. Gross. So, that was that. Yes, sir. 406 with a thunder stick and a sledgehammer on top. That's right. Well, we, we definitely going to see you way over four. I think you're uh, definitely got a lot of opportunities coming up, but I'm really looking forward to that that visit to Party, where, where I think you're going to let it loose, and we're going to see a huge ball there. Oh, brother, you don't hey, – hey, you know, and like I said when I opened it up to tell you know, the, the questions, I said, it's, you know, all brass, no brass, no shows, all mass. I tell you, I, people don't understand what i got working behind the scenes. Only you. I don't show anybody. I don't, I'm not this big media warrior anymore that goes on there and shows my numbers. 
So, uh, but I'm working on something. Everybody out there can guarantee I'm working on something. Right, right. Awesome, dude. So uh, another question, and this is, I'm probably jaded on this one, but what's your equipment set up? My equipment set up is very simple. I'm going to cut your throat and then put my in a 48-inch cherry and anywhere from, I say, two and a half degree with a black, with a dark feral up to probably the highest of five degree a five degree original feral any of those heads are just absolutely they're absolutely boom sticks so and it's just amazing that what i've actually done going to those heads i always start like i always start off with the, with the most forgiving head that i've ever hit with the goldilocks because people don't understand i was i was on over to over 200 ball speed in Myrtle Beach with the, with the Goldilocks. I got up that, but I, I only, it went, the feral took me to the next level. So cherries on 48 inch, cher uh, 48 inch cherries with Goldilocks and I uh, kill you with the feral. Either one. I like it. I, th I think we broke up there at the first, but you were saying that the uh, the 48 inch uh, tattoo cherry shafts are, are you go to right now. 48 inch tattoo cherry shaft because you learn to time that bad boy up. The way it is, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the prototypical whip of all of these other you know shaft companies that, that tell you if you got four kick points here, 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 and here. Once you let that back, it's a uh, effortless speed. And with me and my power, once I gotcha, gotcha. Wait, yeah, I think we. I got you whipping down the road. We broke up a little bit, but I think we got most of that. Um, also, tell us what uh, Hank Parks does to improve himself on a daily basis. All right, what I do to improve myself on a daily basis. I'm very, I'm a very regimented person. Okay, I get up about the same times. I eat the same times. I eat the same amount of meals every day. I always go to the gym at least five days a week, sometimes six, depending on how my body feels. Okay. So what I'll do is I only work out for an hour, okay? And uh, an hour a day, I don't work on major speed parts. I just work on making myself feel better. I get blood flow. I get, get pumps. I get huge pumps. And I get these muscles swelling, okay? And what that, believe it or not, what that does for me is it, it helps my joints. It gets blood flow. And so it actually, it just, I've, I've, I've stopped lifting the massive heavy weights that I could lift and just kind of dialed it back. But what I do, I do that, actually, believe it or not, before I go do my long drive training. So four days a week on my four days off from work, my rotating schedule, I'll go hit 120 to 130 balls a day. And my goal every day is to be the fastest and longest on ball 119, ball 120. So that way I know when it comes to competition, four or five sets, so they aren't, it's not going to wear me down. Yeah, that's, that's huge, Hank, because a lot of people we saw – and I've been involved in long drive around 13 years and some of the biggest hitters in the, in the day would always wear themselves out by the end of the competition. I, I feel like a lot of times near the end, you're just really getting cranked up. Well, the thing is Moby is that I've learned that my body type, people have different body types. There's some people that can go out there. Hey, our pal Ben said he can wind up 10, 15 balls and he's ready to let it fly. But right. My body type, I can I gotta sit there and get stressed out. And my technique, actually, believe it or not, you'll never hear me talk about this much, but my technique gets so much better the more I get fatigued and then my adrenaline pumps in. And then that's when the see I can just take over the from there and just build off that. So it's just just constant work. And I tell you, the funny thing was the last competition we were at uh, at Shanks when I was um <laughs> when I was using the dark feral. I couldn't get it dialed in. I was like, man, this is, this can't get it. They had a wind in my face. It was like just shooting straight at me. It's like not my shot. And then, believe it or not, uh, Squatch, Burley helped me out. I said, hey, man, let's try to set this thing at a certain degree and let it let it eat. And I'll be God if it didn't. <laughs> we <laughs> all know what happened that last round. And then when you, when you see, hey, if you see heads hang, <laughs> it makes you feel good. You know, I won't say I don't do it on purpose, but I do do it on purpose. Right. But uh, what I hit probably two buckets just to get that dialed out, and that 
third to last ball of my day, I went 360 plus. Who knows how long it went? But it was yeah. an absolute smash, and that was one of the last swings of my day. But that's after that's probably after close to 200 balls hitting. Right. Yeah, that's a that that ball remains disputed. It was definitely the longest of the day by far. On an open grid, that might have been your four something ball. That was a monster. And I hit it with a three degree dark barrel. <laughs> yes, I mean, I'm talking about that thing had maybe 40 or 50 hits on it. Now, can you imagine what that thing is going to be like once it breaks in? Oh my God. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I got one more question and I'm going to let you go, my friend. So, Absolutely. What, what's next? Like uh, Goldberg used to ask, who's next? I want to know what's next for Hank Parks. What's next for me is, honestly, I'm going to keep working my ass off. I'm going to keep doing it on the range and in the gym. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to breaking out and representing the Shark Attack name. And well, I'm going to have to get some help eventually, though. But once I, I want to branch out. You know, I love the guys I compete with. He even went down to Myrtle Beach, and I love that. The, the, the pro guys I beat, they had a couple of DL uh, or WLD guys. And, we, we, you know, they're great guys. They, they're absolutely monster hitters, but we know who won that event, okay? Right. Uh, I want to break – I don't want to see all these guys go out west coast. Oh, man, let's post on social media. I hit one 430 yards. Well, you hit one 340 in Columbia, Okay. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Okay. Right. Yeah. You can come over here and, you know, I may get my ass beat, but you know what? I'm out here doing work at sea level. I'm not out here saying, Oh my God, I'm swinging 160 miles an hour with a, you know, bogus machine. My biggest thing I want to do is I know I'm on, I'm, I'll, I'll be 42 this year, but I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm going to break out one of these days and you're going to see me. I'm going to compete against the best of the best with your equipment, with my equipment just to show that it, it's not just a. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's, it's not just a social media. I want to hurt some feelings. And my, what my goals are, my goals are is that to go out, to branch out and just show what the world that, that the hammer can do and the shark attack golf can do. And that's no ploy because you're, I'm talking to you. I've used everybody's equipment and you know, they, people have good equipment. I'm not going to lie, but, you can't dispute anything that you come and then, you know, you have tried and true people that have come, you know, and then all of a sudden they leave with their tails tucked between their, you know, it's, it's just what it is, you know? And I think it's just a due testament to what you do and what I put the effort and the time into doing. So I definitely want to branch out. I want to compete against these big guys. I'm talking about open. I'm not talking about no senior division. I'm talking about, Hey, bring me the young guys, bring me the 22, 23 year old, Australians or whatever. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. I'm going to go to that tee box like I feel like I do every time. If whoever's next to me, you could be number one in the world in WLD. Good job. Half the time you're not putting in play. You know what? All it takes is one for me, and nine times out of ten, that's going to be enough. So I want to branch, I want to branch out eventually with some, with some help. I'll get it, but I won't stop working for it. And then I want to let people know what Shark Attack Golf is really about. Love it, man. Love it. Love the grind. Love the love the confidence, baby. Absolutely. Because if I'm not if I'm not grinding, somebody else is. And I promise you nobody's gonna outwork me in either one of those areas. Yep, yep. Ain't gonna outwork you, my dog. Sounds good. Hey, I I appreciate the time, Hank. Appreciate you being my first interview here. And uh wherever you're traveling, man, be safe and uh we'll be in touch soon. All right. Absolutely. Moby, you're the man. I appreciate you. You're the, uh, you're the reason why I've gotten as good as I've gotten. So, and uh, nobody will ever take that away from me. So appreciate you, my man. All right, brother. Y'all be safe. We'll see you soon. All right, Moby.